This Terraria sword will let you summon Slime Rain. And today I'm gonna show you how to make this overpowered weapon. So let's jump into the video and show you why the Slime Rain from the Fargo Souls mod is one of the best weapons in the mod. But before we do that, I'm going to go in the bathroom, turn the shower on and start crying because 98% of you guys are not subscribed. If you guys end up liking the video, please consider subscribing. And with that all too familiar request out of the way, let's hop into the review. So the Slime Rain is a sword from the Fargo Souls mod that deals 6,000 damage and causes slimes to fall from the sky while swung. Having 6,000 damage basically covering the entire screen makes this weapon super overpowered for bosses and crowd control alike. So how do you get this overpowered weapon? First, you'll need to get the Crucible of the Cosmos and Eternal Energy. Eternal Energy will drop from the mutant boss if Eternity Mode is activated, and the Crucible of the Cosmos can be crafted post Moon Lord. The Crucible of the Cosmos is basically every crafting station you could possibly get combined into one, so it is a grind to get it. The last item you'll need is the Slime Slinging Slasher. Crafted with the Slime King Slasher, which drops from the Slime King, 10 Luminite Bars, and a Slimy Energizer, which you get by using 10 Swarm Crowns at once, which is basically fighting 100 King Slimes. So now that you have this insane weapon, what exactly can you do with it? First off, this weapon will tear through post Moon Lord Calamity, even up to Supreme Calamitous. Personally, if I was doing a melee playthrough, I would not use this weapon because it is simply too overpowered and kind of breaks progression. But hey, if you want to destroy everything and anything in front of you in the blink of an eye, be my guest. So if you didn't know already, this weapon is Eternity Mode Exclusive, which is a difficulty mode exclusive to the Fargo Souls mod. If you have the mod enabled when creating a world, a statue will spawn holding a blue star. Breaking the statue will give you the mutant's gift, which will activate Eternity Mode when used. Keep in mind, if you are using Eternity Mode alongside Calamity Extra difficulties, like Revengeance or Infernum, you may run into difficulties or technical errors. Eternity Mode is definitely difficult, and I would say it is more difficult than Revengeance Mode, but less difficult than Infernum. But even though it may be more difficult, I would definitely say it's worth it. Not just to get this weapon, but all the other weapons and accessories that are exclusive to the mode. Overall, the Slime Rain is a crazily overpowered sword that makes quick work of any boss with its high damage and ease of use. I don't think many of you guys have used this weapon before, but if you have, let me know in the comments below. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.